Hey everyone, James here. So today I wanna to show you this awesome new tool that just launched um, from some good friends of mine. It's called QuickType. Often I'm making RESTful service calls, pulling down JSON, or just reading JSON from a file. And of course the problem I have is that I have all this beautiful JSON that's now in string form, but I need to then put it into specific data types. So for instance here, right, we have some JSON that's going on as names and descriptions. Then what I need to do is go create this speaker or whatever it is and create the name, description, and all this stuff going on. Now in this instance, I have really nice names, but what if they didn't? Usually they're all lowercase. So that's where QuickType comes in. So I'm gonna go over to quicktype.io. Now this is really cool because QuickType by default right here will actually give you a bunch of different um, files that we can see. So here's um, Pokedex, there's uh, Kitchen Sink, Bitcoin Blog, GitHub Events. These are actual real JSON blobs that are coming in. So for instance, if I wanna look at the Pokedex, we can see that the top level here is this Pokedex, which contains an array of Pokemon. And what's really cool is that I can actually select different types of languages. So if you're a TypeScript developer, boom, instant TypeScript coming out on the right-hand side. If I want uh, Go, for instance, right? Just takes a few seconds and then boom, Go comes over. Again, if you're using Swift, out of the box, it uses all those new Swift data types that are coming in, so the extensions, it gives you all the Swift code, super crazy simple, which is bananas. And of course, you can even use all these fancy new features like use <laughs> asking them questions or getting updates. We'll skip for now. Of course, I'm a C-sharp developer, so I selected C-sharp, and it'll actually keep my uh, preferences when I come back over and over again. So here's the Pokemon, and what we can see is that, of course, it's gonna be using json.net, so it says make sure you bring in json.newtonsoft.json. Uh, There's a using statement that you can put in, and then if you wanna get uh, the Pokemon, it even gives you a nice little quick Pokedex from JSON. So here's what's cool, it gives you all these data types, and then down the bottom, it actually gives you a, a partial static class, which I really like. So it'll automatically handle the JSON convert um, deserialize object, and you can give it converter settings. So it actually will have some additional converter settings, such as you know handling, ignoring casing, and data parsing handling. But what I love here is it also puts the JSON names on top of it and correctly actually lower cases or um, capitalizes them and removes any of those underscores in there for like next evolution. So let's take a look here at putting in my own actual speaker data. So I'm gonna copy this over here and at any time, just go ahead and replace it. And just like that, we have all of our data coming in right here, but I have um, I have all the partials coming in, but we see that it says Pokedex up top. And that's because I have this as my top level type. So I'll just change that to speaker. Essentially that's my root object that's coming in. So now I can bring in the namespace, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be quick type, but it'll be all my using statements my partials, and then even down here, will bring in my specific JSON right there, which is super awesome. So literally within a few seconds, I can get any of my JSON into C Sharp or any of these other languages with quick type. In addition to that, I can of course follow them on Twitter, but everything's open source on GitHub. So when I go to GitHub, I can see all of the awesome code. They have a Slack channel. I can see if it's passing, and I can actually see how they did it. That's quick type, it's awesome. Go read my blog post over on montamagno.com. Till next time, I'm James and thanks for watching.